Hey everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 31 of Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Doesn't hurt to say the full name once in a while. Alright, um, you're probably wondering why we're back in this room with these two just random buttons that no one cares about. Uh, well that's because there is actually something you can do with these buttons that I was too stupid to notice, and apparently no one else noticed it either, so I guess maybe I wasn't that stupid, but over here, near these barrels, um, you might find Donkey Kong at some point, but actually there's this one barrel here that is of a different color than the rest. And if you jump on it like that, then it just knocks it down like that. And yeah, time to, now you can just like roll it and stuff. It's pretty cool. All you have to do is like jump on it in like one sp certain spot or something. And eventually it'll be on top of a button, just like that. And then you press the other button and you get this stuff. You get a full heal mushroom and... Uh, the R comes before the L. Okay, so that's just another clue in case you really needed it. I didn't know what that would yield, so I might as well just... I I felt the need to go and get it again. To go and get it again. No. Uh, okay. Just think. Think carefully before you speak. I felt the need to go and show that just in case it was something important. Not too difficult. Alright. Uh, try and avoid all these guys again. Whoa! Thanks for that. Gosh, at least I don't have to like fight the bullet bills or anything. That would just be really annoying. Okay, God, <laughs> did I just knock one down there or something? Kind of looked like that. Okay, so yeah, we're not too far from the place we need to be. So, okay, goodbye, Dark Mario. And almost back, almost back to where we were. Here we are. All right, so now let's start the episode new. Hello, everyone. No, just kidding. Okay, so. We left off the last episode here, and now we're like, how long into this episode? Like two minutes or something? Yeah. And we haven't even gotten past here, so let's get let's get a move on. Whoa! What? Didn't expect that, but okay. Here is a Hydon. 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 Okay. This was like a pretty tough en enemy, kind of like the uh, whatever it was back in Cure. Ooh. Holy crap! 53 damage. Jeez. Well. You better be weak to jump just like your ancestor was, or your cousin. I don't know what to call it. They're obviously in the same group of enemies, but just this guy's like snot green. Okay, uh, use therapy on Mario. Because we can't have him dying here now, can we? That just isn't an option. Alright. Uh, ew, whoa, monsters are inside. Freaking, what the hell are these, goombets? Alright, uh, well... Maybe I'll have, like, Peach handle this. I don't know how tough they are. Oh, wait, I can't even... T okay, now I can target that guy. For a minute, I thought I couldn't target him. I'm like, that's bullshit. No. Okay. <laughs> Zero damage. Perfect block for the win. Okay, super jump the hide on again. Hopefully, there's just a few of these, and he'll be down. Come on. It would be awesome if, like, every time you jumped on him, you just, like, closed and then reopened or something. That would be a neat little animation, but... It's probably too advanced for this time period that this game was made. Ow! What? No! The Jeez, for such little guys, these things pack a punch. Holy crap. That was painful. So it's time to take you down! Take you downtown and underground, Goombet. Oh, jeez. Are they really this strong? Crap. Attack up! Not bad. Um... I'm trying to think here. I'll just use group hug. Why not? I mean, Peach doesn't need it, but still. <laughs> Miss. What a failure. Alright, come on. Jeez, these guys do more damage than the Goombas. Probably because they're like blood red. They're satanic. Satanic Goombas. No! I have to crush you under the might of my hammer. Bam! Take that. Yeah. You can stop biting me now, please. Oh, you you would miss. Oh my goodness. You picked the perfect time to miss, Gino. Thank you. Okay, uh... Jeez, I'm really under leveled, aren't I? I have to use, like, therapy left, right, and center here. Okay. Uh... Well, it looks like we're gonna get out of this battle with everyone still intact, so... That's not bad. Right. 
How much damage is Mario doing now? Two attack ups. 128? What? He was doing better than that with just one attack up. Oh well. 100 coins. And Gino levels up. 13. Not bad. Okay. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Sick. Okay. Oh, I got a safety badge. What does that do? I have not a clue. Because I didn't remember that you would get that. That we would get this from him. Okay. So let's see here. Um, For Mario... It raises his defense, but lowers his magic attack. Okay, for Peach, um, well, I don't know if I want to take off the... Wait, was I looking at the right one? Safety badge is up here. He raises both of her defenses. For Mario, uh, yeah, okay. And for Gino, it doesn't do a damn thing, apparently. Prevents mutant poison attacks. That's actually kind of decent. Hmm. And for Gino... It doesn't really do anything to him, except prob except lower his speed, obviously, because the zoom shoes. You know what? I'll take it. Yeah, sure. Gino's magic is pretty useful, so it'll be ha it'll be good to have a mute immunity on him. All right, what's this room about? I'm just kind of winging it at this point. Like I don't know what I'm about to face here. There's a lot of frog coins down here. I want gimme. Where's the grappling hook from Wind Waker when you need it? Jeez. Speaking of Wind Waker, um, on my on my channel, it said that Wind Waker was going to be one of my next LPs, but I don't know about that quite yet, because after after Majora's Mask, I might be Zelda'd out. Yes, Zelda is a verb. I just made it up. But, yeah, so, I don't know, I'll leave it up to you guys whether you want to see Wind Waker after Majora's Mask. I, I suggest that you don't decide until I'm actually done Majora's Mask, so you can just see how you feel about it yourself. But it's up to you. Alright. Are these new enemies, or... Whoa! There's a big... Why are... What? Mr. Kipper? Now you're not green anymore. What the hell? Jeez. <laughs> awesome. Gino has 111 HP. Okay. Can I just take these guys down easily? Alright. And here, there's a crusty crab there. Crusty. Yeah, it actually is crusty crab. Wow. Okay. Um, what's it weak to? It's probably weak to thunder. You know what? I don't need to know what's weak to. What the hell? It's probably just weak to thunder, like I was trying to say. I don't know. It looks pretty bulky, though. And, uh, doesn't have too great attack, at least. Okay. Let's see if we can just take you out with the Masha! Mash you like a potato. Whoa. Jeez, you're defensive. Okay. Yeah, one damage. Okay, I might want to use his weakness then. I'll probably. Whoa, no! Don't bubble. Ow! How dare you mute Mario. Mazel tov. Okay. Okay, he doesn't have too much HP, so that's pretty good. Alright, Mario, just take out Mr. Kipper. Mr. Kipper and Krusty. Alright. There you go. I'm pretty sure we haven't shown off the Krusty crab before, so... Alright, real quick, I'm just gonna go ahead and look up his weakness, just to, so that you guys can have an easier time with him if you're playing along. Because I know some of you are, at least one of you. So, just a moment. Alright guys, looks like I was right. He is weak against thunder, but surprisingly, he's also weak against fire. I don't know how that works. Well, I kind of do, since, you know, fried crab is so good. It's just so delicious, so juicy. My mouth is just watering at the prospect of it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, for Mr. Kippers, you guys don't need to see this. Just, <laughs> bye. Alright guys, um... Yeah, I took care of those guys, and I'm going to go ahead and head into this room now, and just take the liberty to clear out these two fishies, so that I can... Well, just because I think I feel I need the experience, so I'll be back in two shakes. Ah! No, what the hell? I did not... Ah. Holy crap! Um... Didn't expect those guys to be weak to fire too, but maybe. Alright guys, that takes care of all the Meester Keepers. So, um, yeah. Oh, another thing I think I should point out in this video that I haven't yet is that, uh... I'm using a different mic setup, like I put it in a different location. Just to see if I can re reduce the amount of background sound you get from my, like, controller and stuff. So, hopefully it's kind of doing its job. I don't know yet. Can't be sure. Am I allowed out of here? No. Okay, well, I'll just go down the underwater door here. Go through the underwater door. 
It makes absolutely zero sense, but still. Okay, there's some Zeo stars and Mr. Kippers in here. Um, I don't know if I want to fight them. Well, we'll see. You know, oh, hello. Is Have I fought this Luco before? Yeah, that reminds me of leukemia or something. Okay, um, I don't know what this guy is weak to. Maybe I should try fire. Because all these water enemies seem to be weak to fire. And we'll let him live for now just to see what he can do. I'll show you how the fire orb does against Mr. Kipper, though. Unless I already... No, this isn't Mr. Kipper. It's Krusty. How can you forget that? Just think about SpongeBob and you'll be alright. Okay, Zeo Star. Recover. Yeah. Oh, you recovered the Luco. Screw you. And you attack. Well, that's just even worse, man. Bolt. Ow. Erg. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Alright, Luco. Go away. No one loves you. You're just an ugly, putrefied jellyfish. HP max. Well, that's nice. Thanks. Peach could use that, actually. Uh, yeah. Oh, God. The Lucas actually kind of remind me of Baronade. Ew, Viroplasm. That sounds really nasty. Um. Oh, thanks for that. Thanks for the poison. I, you know, I really want to be poisoned. Especially by a starfish. Yeah, because that makes perfect sense. God. Okay, um... Oh, jeez. Oh, look at that. Bowser reached level 13. Holy crap. I can't keep track of Bowser's levels. So 10, 11, 12, 13... Wait. 10, 11, 12, 13? Sure. Alright. See, we're just getting levels like mad here. It's madness. If any of you make a Sparta joke in the comments, I swear, I'm banning you. Just kidding. Alright. This battle's not too bad since especially since they drop once again flowers. That's that's lovely. Yeah, just two Zeo stars will probably leave that in. Alright. Um yeah, can I and Oh come on. Okay guys, I just took the liberty of fighting all the battles that were left here and using the lucky jewel on the last one. Because I just remembered oh yeah, I still have that thing, don't I? And I keep get, I still getting lucky with it. That's not bad. Hey, look at that. Peach leveled up to 13. Come back. Yes, that's an awesome spell. That's basically a pick-me-up. Except you, it costs FP to use. Alright. And I think it only brings them back to half health. Unless you get the action command. What is the action command on that? Um, sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to look up the action command of that really quick. Let's see if I can remember actually where. There it is. Uh, my list here. My fancy schmancy list. Okay. Press Y just as the star hits the body. Yeah, I'll show that off the next time someone dies. Which hopefully means I'll never have to show it off. Because hopefully I'll be too awesome at this game to die. Again. Alright, ooh, a bloober. Uh, and it's little babies. They're almost too cute to want to take out. But not cute enough. Alright. Might as well just show off this battle. Let's see. And I actually found out, too, that the bloobers are weak to fire. I, what's with all these enemies underwater being weak to fire? Fire shouldn't even be able to be underwater. But yeah, just see, just watch. Like, seriously. Turn them into calamari with this thing. Not king calamari. They're not going to get the chance to be, grow that big. Alright, and, um... Yeah, I guess that's kind of the idea, though. It's just, like, that they become food, that, like, seafood or something. I don't know. Because, like, otherwise it just doesn't make sense for something in water to be weak to fire. Um. Ow? Maybe? Fireplasm. Ugh. Uh, you know what's something funny? Peach just gets... Or they all just get, like, shinier when they're poisoned. It's so weird. It's like shinier is supposed to be an indication of something good happening. Not of you getting poisoned and taking damage every turn. You don't see Pokemon getting shiny when they get poisoned. They just go purple. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with purple. Well, there is something wrong with purple. It's such a toxic color. And there's something about purple is really horrible. Sorry if purple is like your favorite color or something. I'm not trying to offend you. Right, what are we up to anyways? 15 minutes? Holy crap. Actually, I did leave the timer on for one of the battles that I'm cutting out. So we're not quite at 15 minutes yet. But regardless, I think we'll just take care of the Luco here. Yes, die leukemia. 
Leukemia is the worst thing ever, or one of the worst things ever. So, we're just gonna take care of that right quick, and, oh, we'll end off this level with Mario reaching level 14 and learning Ultra Jump! Holy balls to the walls, that is awesome. Right, so, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I lost count now. Sure. This is our Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.